it's wonderful to be here. Um, uh, just on the way, I was hearing a little bit of sad news about, uh, about the economy, the durable goods orders weren't quite where they should be. The employment seems to be coming back a little too slowly. Um, so it feels a little disappointing. Uh, just as Mike said, there used to be a thing called growth, and we study it in think tanks, and we're working to get it, but it, it seems a little metaphorical and theoretical right now, doesn't it? Strong growth. Uh, and we're hoping to bring it back. Um, we're wishing for the day when there would be 4% growth and when the unemployment would be below 5%, and we're wishing even more, I think everyone in this room will concede, um, for something closer to a balanced budget in Washington, to a smaller debt, to maybe a government that pays back the debt, and even behind that, even uh, in non-election years, we're looking for a leader who can take us there, right? Who can take us to a smaller government, who actually could shrink the government uh, and get us closer to, to growth and happiness. But when we face it, um, when we look at that, we, we begin to wonder, is that really possible in the United States? We've kind of downgraded our expectations a bit. Um, we don't, we're not pretty sure, we're just not sure about the entitlements, whether they could ever be fixed. Our, our, we're worried um, quite a bit about leadership. We're wondering how many decades it will take to get back from to where we were before the recent setbacks. That's a long time frame. That is like the Great Depression. Um, we know there's a way to get back, but we don't have a leader and we don't know how to get back. Um, so I'm, I'm here with a happy message um, through a medium that, that I think we can get back. We can get back from a terrible situation. We've done it before. We have had such a leader who has taken us back. Um, we've had such an economy that was 4% real growth, ab nominal, real, always. And that was what we can call the Coolidge economy after the president whose period belonged to, Calvin Coolidge, the 30th president of the United States. 